Um, the thing that having extra money enables that I've discovered, because I used to have, like, no money and I was super, super frugal, is that it lets you basically, like... It's like, that, I think the way I described it was, if you drop like, if I drop like five cents on the floor, I'm actually not gonna go like pick it up again because it's just not worth my time, you know? And the more money you have, the more that is the impact. So like, at a, like if I dropped $5, it would be crazy if I didn't go pick it up. But if I had a lot more money, then dropping $5 would be like not a big deal at all, you know? And then the more money you get, the more that it's just the case, I guess. I don't know. Being rich doesn't let you, like, doesn't really have to impact too much. But, like, having more money means you can be way more careless. Or, or just not give a shit about stuff. Like. Fuck. I don't know. If, this is probably not the case for you, Lana. But when I started doing OF. Oh, whoops. I got confused. <laughs> when I started doing OF, someone, like, at the very first, like, month of me doing it, Wanted to pay me, they paid me $50 to do like a more explicit video than I've ever done in my entire life. And I was like, oh fuck, I have no money. $50? I need that. You feel like you have to, yeah? Yeah, and now like someone offers me to do $50 to like do a three minute video or like a one minute video. I'm like, that's not worth my time. I'm sorry. Nothing. Yeah. Like it's not worth my time. Well, that's the thing, like, I don't do anything that I don't want to do. Exactly. It's just kind of in general. Like, that's even a, if it would that's a really a good philosophy money. to have, honestly. Yeah. Even if it would make me a lot of money, I'm yeah. like... Life is way too short for that. You feel so awkward requesting content from someone? I think the important thing is, if you just think of it like a fucking like, artist commission thing, you know? I think the thing is, if you like treat people like people, then who cares? Yeah, especially like... There's a lot of stuff that I'm like not comfortable doing. But if the person like asks like a normal human being, I don't give a shit. Well, let me just throw you in. Yeah. Like the worst you can say is no. But as yeah. long as you ask, if you ask like a normal person, the worst oh, I'm gonna I say see. is no. Exactly. And sometimes someone asking like a normal person is enough where I say yes, where I otherwise wouldn't. Content requests don't like super Both bother me. Bad. The ones that fucking piss me off are when people are like, they, they message you and they'll be like, why don't you do X? That's oh, I when hate I'm like, that. fuck you, bro. Like, cope. Uh, like, absolutely. Uh, cope. Why don't you have any videos of you coming? Like, fucking. Actually, you need to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't say. I, I've, I've drank <laughs> enough alcohol, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> I gotta, I gotta watch what I say you here. To say things that would get me banned. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, why don't you have any fucking cum videos? Why don't you have? Why don't you have any like sex? Do you have any blowjob videos? Like. Actually, you don't deserve, you don't deserve to speak to me. You don't deserve to send me this message without paying me first. That's how I feel. What's the weirdest request you've ever gotten? The weirdest request I ever got was, there's different kinds of weird, I guess, but the weirdest one I got was someone's thing was, they wanted me to play with my earlobe and record it and like kind of like finger my earlobe a little bit. That's and so specific. Honestly, I would have done it. I just didn't because I was like, at that time, I wasn't checking DMs. And I said I was okay <laughs> doing it, but I, by the time I ended up getting Ron to it, it was like their sub kind of expired. You know? But I, I really didn't care about that one at all. We gotta, no, that's not that weird. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's weird in that it's uncommon, I guess. But not actually like bad. Did he offer much? Um, I don't think he offered much at all. I think that was like on me to price it. And I don't know how to price shit, honestly. Yeah. I usually tell people like, I the way that I feel about pricing custom stuff is that I'm not a professional porn star and most of my shit is like awkward as fuck. So I don't want to <laughs> price highly. At the same time, my time is worth a lot of money. The issue with, um, with customs is I have to charge a lot of money to make them worth my time. But I also like, they're not worth a lot of money because I suck at them. <laughs> well, also, it's how I feel. It's like a really oddly specific custom. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's like a normal thing to ask for, a lot of the time I'll just ask the person if they're okay with me, like sending it to other people as well. Yeah. And then that's that's like content, and it's I have like an incentive to make the content, but then kind of like post it or whatever. Yeah. Um, but if it's like weirdly specific, I can't yeah, send you that can't, to other people. Exactly. Like, that is a better way to think of it, I think. I like, I like how you think of it. Like, I would never just, like, send it to, to random people try. without asking, but, like... You both do your love? Yeah, yeah. 
It's kind of a thing where, like, most people in the group of people that play Minecraft, most people do it. Mm -hmm. But not all. But it's mostly, it's mostly we're all transgeners.